happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i have another timu haul for you guys i did go on and get some new items from timu so let's hop on into what i got so y'all know when y'all see this orange packaging it's timu in the building so i'm gonna go ahead and rip this open and see what i got okay got a lot of goodies okay forgot all about some of this stuff all righty so I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the side and I'm just going to pull things out as I see them, okay? So, okay, cool, I forgot I got this. The first thing I picked up is a nail pillow. I do have another one of these that I got from Shein a couple years ago, but it was time for me to upgrade it. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so I, what I like about this is it kind of has that pleather design. The, one I, the previous one I have is cloth, so I just feel like this would be a lot easier to clean off if I got stuff on it. Um, you can just kind of wipe it clean with some alcohol and I love how soft and plush this is you guys This is so cute. Okay, so this is something I'm hoping that I can put in my traveling nail kit you guys This is so adorable. It feels so good. Oh, I should have been got this y'all. I like this. Okay, so this is the first item I got It's just a nail a nail stand or whatnot and then also too if you guys make nail content you can use this as something to rest your silicone hand on like you can have it off to the back put your silicone hand here and then work on it so yeah you can use this for a couple different things but I got this for my clients to have a comfy surface to get their nails did so pick this up in pink it's really pretty next I picked up these storage containers here I got these okay so I'm gonna be honest I originally got these because I got a ton of nail tips from Enel Couture and I was wanting to have a way to store them store like multiple designs in one container but I didn't realize how flat these were so I don't think it's actually going to work out for what I want them for yeah they're they're, they're kind of flat I was actually hoping I'd be able to put uh, my nail tips in there let's try it and see though it won't hurt to give it a go so these are some of my email couture tips that I have um, they came in a lot of bags and so let me see I wanted to be able to store like a couple of different of the colors in here like maybe two coffin colors two stiletto colors etc but these are quite flat I don't think it's going to work for what I was hoping to use it for let's see if it'll fit in here oh it actually does fit okay how many can I get in here okay y'all it might actually still work for what i want to use it for okay i won't be able to store a lot of them in here but i think that actually is going to work cool really close oh sweet you guys okay it is still do it is still do the trick okay so it'll only fit the long nails in here so my extra extra long nails that i have from them i won't be able to put in here i'll have to have a different storage solution for it i'm excited y'all it actually does fit in here so you won't be able to fit all of the nails in there but i mean if you can get a handful of them in there to get a couple sets done that's perfect and it's nice and flat you can store it very easily okay so that's the coffin shape when i do have some of the almond shaped ones or the stiletto shaped ones that um, I got from him as well. I want to see how those fit in there. Like I said I think the long nails are fitting here very easily. Oh, perfect, you guys. Oh my goodness. This makes me so happy. Okay, cool. Yes. Alrighty. And then you close it and it still fits. That is awesome. So I'm going to do a whole dedicated video to show you guys how I put all of my nail tips in here. I love the fact that it comes with 24 slots. And so his nail tips come with 12 different sizes. So that's perfect. I'll be able to fit two of the full lines of each um, nail size in here. That is really awesome. And then what I'll do is I'll just put the numbers on the lid somewhere and I'll put the name of the designs. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for how I wanted to use it, you guys. This is exciting. So I'm gonna do another video and I'll show you guys how I organize all of these out. But this is super exciting. I'm glad they fit. I didn't think they were gonna fit. Okay. I know a lot of people use these to organize their nail charms. I'll also do a video showing you guys um, how I organize my charms in here too because I do have quite a few charms that I need to organize as well. But I'm so happy because I actually got quite a few of these. I got one two three four five i got five of them and again i bought them in particular to house all of those nails that i just got from enel couture if you all missed my mystery scoops that i got from enel couture i am going to go ahead and leave that playlist because i got quite a few of them i'm going to leave that playlist link down below as well but yeah y'all this is how i'm going to store my nail tips and if i have a few left over i'll store some charms in here as well okay next here i got some dual forms um yeah i'm not really 
So I'll be honest, I'm not the I'm not the biggest fan of poly gel and or dual forms, but I felt like I should have some of these in my collection. I recently saw a video of I believe her name is Netka Nails. Um, she is an amazing artist. I, she just kind of inspired me to want to try poly gel nails again. And she had this cool hack where she clipped the end of a stiletto nail and turned it around and made a custom made duck shaped a deck uh, a duck shaped nail with using a poly gel form. And I'm like, wow, it's, it looks like it's pretty easy to build out a form with the dual forms. The ones that come in a lot of those kits, I mean, they're just they're not cute. They have that really deep curve to them. So I figured it might be cool to get some that have the straight curve. I mean, they have the straight edge, kind of like how I normally with wear my nails and so I picked up this set from Timu and it has a variety of different types of duo forms in here and I think I want to try to get into poly gel again you guys it's it's been a while since I've done poly gel nails and I normally do the lazy girl method with it but I think it'd be cool to actually try to build out my nail with it and having these dual forms I think it make my life a lot easier so I want to show you all the different shapes that I got okay so I got these are the different oh that's cool it comes with a Russian tip a square a stiletto oh that's cute and oval okay and is this round wow y'all this come with a lot of different shapes on here i like this okay so first i'm going to start off with the the long ones right so this here are the three long dual form shapes that come so it came with a stiletto it came with a long square with a deep c curve and then it came with the russian um with the russian tips so i want to show you guys the profiles of these okay so with the russian tip right it's the one that has that really big sidewall that kind of drops down it's like really deep i've seen a few people wear it and it, and it looked cute on them so that's how it would look after you shape the nail out and put it on there. And what's nice about the dual forms, you all know they just kind of like pop off and then it has the form, the nail already shaped for you. Definitely had to go in and get a square, okay? And with that square, you know, this is how I wear my square nails. Nice and straight. Got a really pretty C curve on it. I really like this one a lot. That's cool. And again, once you put the poly gel in it, kind of like Lazy Girl Method, but you put the poly gel in it, put it on your nail cure it and then pop it off and then you have the shape on here and then it also came with a stiletto okay so this is what the stiletto looks like a long stiletto it really looks like a long almond to me if i'm being honest the point's not that sharp but what's nice about it is you can always sharpen it up yourself so that's pretty cool and then it has these smaller sizes too you guys okay got coffin as well okay cool this came with a lot of different shapes so this one here also these are the other three shapes they have so they have a long coffin a, st a short stiletto or almond and then an oval shape in here i thought that was pretty cool so this is what the coffin nail looks like okay so it's a long coffin put it on you guys see that's how it looks that's really cool i'm kind of happy i got this now um, this here is the short or medium almond or stiletto and this is what that would look like on the nail so this is more of an active length so if you all want to do poly gel nails at an active length have the option to do that wait what hold on y'all oh this is cool Wait, y'all, so I thought this was just a regular almond. No, it's like diamond-shaped almond. Y'all see that cut on the inside of there? I don't think I've ever seen a dual form like that before. Wow, so if you sculpt it and put it on the nail, it's gonna make your nail look like it's kind of like in the shape of a diamond. Can you all see that? Oh, that's really cool. Now that's different. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that. I don't know if you guys can see on the inside how it has like it's cut on the inside it has like different cuts on the inside so when you put your nail on I don't know can you guys see that and then when you put your nail on it'll look like your nail is cut like a diamond I don't know maybe you can see it a little bit better on top of the current nail I have on y'all see the cut in there oh that is so dope oh I cannot wait to try these out oh my gosh that's so cool so it came with those so it came with that's a, that's quite a few full cover ones there so it came with seven different options for full cover so it came with seven different options and seven different shapes really for your poly gel nails so the russian long long square long stiletto slash almond long coffin um 
um, like a medium almond and then a short oval that has a diamond cut to it. That is really cool. Oh, actually that's, that's six of them. Okay. So six different full cover options. So that's really cool. Okay. So that's the poly gel tips. I wasn't expecting them to be that cool and unique. I'm excited to have this. Wow. And then it also came with half cover tips, you guys. I mainly got them for the full covers, but the half cover ones that are in here as well. So I'll show you what those look like. It came with... Looks like these are extra, extra long. Oof. This extra, extra long Russian. This one is extra, extra long square. Extra, extra long coffin. And then just long square. Yeah, this is cool. It got so many options in here, you guys. Okay. Okay, that's everything. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at these a little bit closer, okay? So these are the half tips. And this is what you'll need to kind of, you'll have to put it on your tip, pop it off, and then scope the back of the nail. But how cool are these, you guys? So these extra, extra long Russian, extra, extra long square, long square, and then medium square. So that's pretty cool. So many different options here. So again, the Russian here, again, half cover. That's that side profile of it. It has that really deep side wall that drops right down. I don't know if you all can see. This that top profile of the Russian nail, how it kind of goes all the way up. It's almost like a triangle, has a little peak there at the top. Then we have the extra, extra long square, okay? And what's cool about this is you can kind of shape and put how long you want the nail to actually be. So that's really cool, top profile of it. Oh, okay, this is the uh, coffin. So this is the extra, extra long coffin nail. Dual form, I mean, okay? And then this here is just kind of like the medium square. Yeah, this is cool. So I definitely wanted to have something like this in my collection because again, I haven't played around with poly gel nails. I've really only ever done the lazy girl method, which essentially dual forms is essentially lazy girl method, but you actually just pop off the nail and then kind of sculpt it a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna be excited to do more poly gel tutorials on my channel. Let me know which size and shape you all want me to use and I'll try to do a, a nice little nail tutorial with it. I wanna do a follow up video and test these out for you guys. So let me know which ones you all wanna see me try out first. All right, next we have this. I have no idea what this is. Oh, cool. Y'all, I didn't forget about everything I ordered, okay? <laughs> These are really nice. Okay, so this is the 4D carving gel. Oh, I'm so excited I got these. I completely forgot about these. And I've been wanting some carving gel for like the longest. And actually it says 4D, not even 3D, okay? So I like that it comes like all packaged, nice and compact. Go ahead and open this up here. Love this packaging. So it comes with all these different colors, you guys. Looks like a purple, nude, pink, red, green, burgundy, um, black, blue, yellow, pink, like a fuchsia pink, royal blue, and then a gray. I'm sure white is in here somewhere. I hope white is in here. That'd suck if it isn't. But okay, y'all, let's take a closer look. We're gonna open one of these. Uh, let's open up the red here. Okay, and I just want to kind of take a look and see what it is looking like. I'm not going to open. Oh, they're already opened. Okay, cool. This is what the red is looking like. It's a nice true red. Okay, I thought it would have been sealed, but it's not. I'm not going to touch it with my hand, but just want to kind of get a feel for it. Yeah, it's really thick. Kind of feels almost like Play-Doh in a sense. Kind of like clay or Play-Doh. Very cool, okay. Yeah, I'll be interested to, to play around with these and do some nail art with it. So I'm gonna do a follow-up video and show you guys all the colors and maybe do a little bit of nail art with these. So I'm really excited to have these as well. So I got some 4D gels. I'm gonna show you all one more color here. Kind of curious to see what the black is looking like. Let's see. Oh, this is white. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, it gotta have a white in here somewhere. So where's black? All right, so this is the white one. So it's good to see that they include a white. Again, let me go ahead and touch it here with this and see. Yeah, again, it just feels like Play-Doh. It feels like my daughter's Play-Doh. <laughs> and then I'll do one more color. Let's see, let's try this one. Let's see if this is black. I really wanna know if they have a black in here. Oh, maybe, okay, I think the color is dependent on what the rose color is, okay? Yeah, this is black, look at that, very nice. 
So this is gonna be really cool to kind of elevate your nail art game, play around, do some different types of things with your nail art. Um, and you can even maybe use this to do like 3D, like put these inside of 3D modes and make some charms and such. So yeah, I'm gonna um, show you guys in a follow up video, showing you guys some of the different ways that you can use this 4D carving gel. Um, but I'm really happy to have this in my collection. So I picked this up. Okay, I also picked up some debonder here. So I actually, let's see here. So I actually, um, I've been doing a lot more press on nails lately. Instead of designing my nails, I've been just I've just been doing way more press ons. I've been using it with glue. I've been using it with acrylic. Currently, I have them on with bubblegum gel, um, and that's from Enel Couture. It's kind of like a solid nail glue. So at times when I want to wear my press on nails with the peel off base and wear it for like a week, sometimes I want it to pop off really easy. But I've also had times where I wear my press on nails and I do primer and a peel off, and they're a little bit harder to get off. And so I figured I'd try this debonder to see how it would work with getting my my press on nails off if it makes it easier or quicker and then also with that um, I want to see if it helps with removing nails that are put on with nail glue so I picked up two of these It's from looks like it's from towing and it's a nail deep bonder it says dissolve quickly so it's a two pack and both of them are 10 ml and um, yeah I'm gonna be curious to see how this works out actually I'll do a follow-up video and show you guys how I remove these nails I put these nails on with um, with peel off base coat and I didn't prep my natural nails or anything like that but um, they're on pretty good and so I want to see if this debonder will help take them off so stay tuned to the channel I'll do a follow-up video and test this out for you guys okay the next item that I got here are some French tip press on nails you guys I love the fact that more and more brands are coming out with nail tips like this because it just makes so much sense makes so much sense this is like an instant nail design oh my gosh this is awesome okay so these here are some French tip oh my gosh these are gorgeous you guys look at this instant French tip Manny okay love it love it I I love the fact that more and more brands are coming out with this and honestly these press-ons are better quality than I actually expected them to be <laughs> I expect them to be like really thin and flimsy, but they're actually pretty sturdy at the tip and then nice and kind of thin at the base here. I'll have to do another video when I take these nails off to show you guys how nice and, and easy that they fit. But these nails, as you all can see, they're translucent, meaning that you can use gel to apply these nails. I know I get a lot of questions about with press-ons, when can you use gel and when can you not use gel. A good rule of thumb that I use is if you can see your natural nail through the tip, then yes, light will get through it and it'll cure but if you can't see your nail through it that means it's too opaque so let's take it let's take for instance the black portion of this nail right you can't see through that right so then if a full nail is this color you wouldn't use it to uh, you wouldn't use gel to cure it on there right but you see how when you go down a little further how you can see your natural nail through it that's how you know it's something that you can cure with gel I am absolutely loving these you guys I love the fact that it's a pre-made French tip I already have a lot of white French tips so I wanted to go with a black French tip and yeah y'all this is super cute um, nice way to get an instant mani. You can apply these with glue, you can apply them with tabs, you can apply them with gel, and also with acrylic. I do have a full press on nail series here on my channel where I apply press on nails using all the methods that I just said above, um, and they last, you guys. If you all want to wear press ons and get them to last for weeks at a time, check out that playlist. My favorite way to apply press ons is definitely with acrylic, but I've since been using this bubblegum, I've since been using this solid nail glue from Eno Couture called Bubblegum Gel, and this might be one of my close second favorites, okay? But yeah, these are some actually some really nice tips, so I'm happy I picked these up. And it comes with 12 different sizes, you guys, and they're already glossy too, so literally all you gotta do is press them on and go. How cute! Love it, love it, love it. Along with that, I did go ahead and pick up another style, and these are ombre nails, okay? So, I don't know, I'm just wanting to see what all different types of pre-design. So I'm just wanting to see what all different types of pre-design nails are out there. Now this kit came with, so this kit only came with five, si I mean this kit only came with 10 different sizes. The other one actually came with 12. And let's take a look at these. How cute, wow you guys. Baby Boomer nail already designed and ready to go. If you struggle with doing ombre nails like I do myself, <laughs> 
these are some really good nails to have i mean that that blend is perfect and again these are really similar to those last nails um really like i said better quality than i had actually expected them to be but look at this super cute it's about the size of the nail that i have on this is lengths that i'm really comfortable with and these let's see can you apply them with gel yes you can again that test is can you see the nail can you see your um, natural nail or the nail you have on underneath through it and you can you see how I'm sliding my nail and I can see my nail through it that means light can get through and can be cured with gel so um, yeah you can apply these using the gel X method too and how cute are they baby boom instant baby boomer nails I am here for it so I picked these up as well Next, I picked up this storage container. I've been seeing this container a lot and I've always wanted to get it, but just didn't want to pay the price for it. I think it was like five bucks and some change, but I like the idea of it. So let's take a closer look here. Yeah, this is cute. So you pop this open here. How do you open it? Okay, so you pop this open here. And what I love about it is that it has all of these individual containers. Like, look at this. This is really cool. So you can use this to store charms, rhinestones, embellishments, etc. So I like the idea of being able to pop out one individual one and have it off to the side while you're doing your nail art. So this one comes with 20 individual little containers here that you can use to store your nail art in. So I just figured I'd pick up one of these just to have it in my collection. Not sure just yet what I want to store in here. I do have some Swarovski, crystal, Swarovski crystals that I might actually end up just using this container to store them in. Um, I don't have many of them, but I do have a few, so I might store my crystals in here. Um, and then I also thought about putting my gold embellishments in here, like those, like the bars that go at the cuticle area, like the cuticle bars and such. Uh, we'll see how I end up using this, but definitely wanted to pick one up, have it in my collection. So I got this. I also picked up another palette, you guys. You guys know I am obsessed with these cute little palettes from Timu. Um, this one here, oh, sad face. Looks like my silver came crushed, okay? But that's all right. One of the reasons I like these chrome palettes is because you can store them very easily in your drawers. And so... Okay, yeah, here's the second one I picked up. So yeah, I picked up two more of them. I kind of want to just start buying chromes in this, in this, that are packaged this way anyway. So let me show you guys. So this is how I currently store all of my chromes. And these little containers here, I mean, they're cool and everything, but I love the idea of just being able to store, um, store my chromes. I can store like up to three or four of these stacked high. So I can store way more chromes and take up less space when I buy them in packages like this. So this is how I will plan to buy chrome powders moving forward, okay? Um, and I do have swatch videos that show how to do chrome nails. I know some people may struggle with that. This was the last set of chromes I bought from Timu. Let me show you guys here. Wait, did I already buy this? Oh my gosh, you guys. Did I already have this one? Is this the same? Oh no, it's different. Okay, it has a green in here. But doesn't it look pretty much the same? Oh my gosh, I think I might have bought a duplicate. Mm. Oh well, this one doesn't have a green in it, okay? Man, that's the only color that looks like it's different though. I think I just bought the same palette twice, y'all. Y'all, be with me, okay? Be with me. <laughs> but anywho, so I guess it's not a big deal that this one's broke anyway. But um, but yeah, so with this one here, um, okay, the difference is this one came with two purples and this one came with a green. I mean, heck, I'm better off with just this one. Anywho, well, I got this one anyway. But um, yeah, so I know some people uh, struggle with chrome powder. So this here is what all these colors look like swatched out. I do have a dedicated, I have actually have two dedicated videos showing you all in particular how to chrome nails. I'm going to leave both of those videos linked down in the description box below so that you all can um, know exactly how to use these products. But I was happy to have more of these in my collection. So again, I really like them when they come in the little palette form. It's just so much easier to store, you know? So yeah, I picked these up. I think this one I really got because it had some rose gold chromes in it. So if you all want to see another demo, of me swatching these out let me know and i will get that filmed for you guys so yeah i picked up these oh yeah okay so to go along with the chrome i picked up these silicone applicators so i saw these and 
I was intrigued by them because currently I purchased all of my little makeup sponge applicators. I just went and I purchased a lot of these um, like sponge tip applicators and um, I use them and I toss them and I didn't realize that they had and I didn't realize they had reusable ones and so I got these it's just a silicone sponge applicator you guys. Now I bought this for being able to do my chrome nails. I don't know how how well it's going to work out but I definitely want to give it a try. If it ends up working out well this is going to be great because then I don't have to throw away so many of those little tiny sponges so it came with it came with four reusable silicone um, sponges so yeah maybe maybe I will just go ahead and do a, a follow-up video of swatching out my chrome powders and in particular I'll be using this applicator to, to, to swatch them out to give you guys a demo to see if it actually works or not like I hope it does <laughs> but that's the reason I bought this is to not have to constantly replace my um, other uh, chrome applicators so yeah, I picked this up. I thought it was a cool buy and it came again with four of them. Next here, I picked up this UV LED light, you guys. Now, one of the things that I like about this light and I thought was really cool is that it's motion censored. Okay, so let me go ahead and unbox it with you guys and let's take a closer look at it. I was super excited to have found this. I've been looking for a cord. So this is a cordless gooseneck lamp, cordless rechargeable gooseneck lamp that's motion censored. Like, they coming out with some really cool things these days, you guys. So look at that, okay. So this is how it comes packaged here. And it is, let's see, it has 50,000 hours of lifetime, 50 hours, lifetime hours, and then the power, it says it's 27 watts, okay? And it comes with nine beads. And so yeah, y'all, let's take a look at it here. So this here is how it comes packaged. Wow, look at how small the footprint is on it. I love that, okay? And then this here is the instructions really quick. This is how you're supposed to use it. That's in Chinese. Okay, so this here tells you how to use it. So definitely go through, make sure you read it. It says when you press key to power on for the first time, red light is lit up and the machine starts. Um, second press power key and the default is 45 seconds. Continue to press and switch a key, switch to a key of 90 seconds. Long press three seconds to turn it on and off. Red light flashes when charging. Red light always comes on when charging. Okay, cool. So that's what this is. And so it comes with um, the charging port. It's a USB-C. And then again, this here is the lamp. I just, look how small this is. I love it. So let's see if this sensor actually works because the main reason I got this was for the sensor. Oh, and it does. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So yeah, this here is the whole lamp itself, you guys. This is like really cool. And it holds up pretty well by itself. And as you all can see, it's motion censored. So it comes on when you place your hand underneath the light. Like what? And let's get a moment for this head though. I love this like little diamond shaped cut that it has on here really really pretty this here is the beads and like the instructions said it came with um nine beads and when you hold your hand in front of it it turns on and off you guys do you see this are we talking about game changer or game changer right like wow i am in love and you can actually feel the heat from the led light on here this is just going to make doing gel x nails so easy so it's cordless rechargeable and motion censored omg like y'all see this look at that turns right on and off oh my god like nail art has been elevated gel x nails have been elevated i just i'm in love with this so think about it like so say if i take say if i got my little my little nails here right and say if i'm doing some gel x nails and i go ahead and i you know i'm applying it you know I'm applying it, I got the gel right where I needed to be, where I needed to cure, boom, and it cures. Y'all see that? You see if I put it on, got the gel right where I needed to be, put it underneath the light, and then, boom, it cures you guys. You see how it turns on automatically? Oh, love it. This is such a game changer, you guys. I love that. Look at that. I'm just so impressed with this. I can't believe it works. Motion sensor gooseneck. Motion censored rechargeable cordless gooseneck lamp. I just, wow. Get, just let's elevate Gel X, okay? And then the other thing it said was if you long press it, so it turns on like this, okay? So if you long press it, it turns on and it stays on for 45 seconds. Pressing again, 
turns off, press it again, it turns on. So if you all don't need it to be motion sensor, then just have it turn on and off. It stays on for either 45 seconds or 90 seconds, depending on what setting you put it on. Or if you turn it off all together and just want it to be motion sensored, it is. I love this lamp, y'all. So this is definitely going to be on my nail desk, okay? This is awesome. Highly, highly recommend this. I think this was like... 12 or 14 bucks on Timu, so definitely well worth the price, you guys. Well worth it. Again, I'm gonna use everything that I got here today in the description box below. But this here is an awesome find, awesome, awesome find. Highly recommend this. So I picked this up. The next thing I picked up was this uh standing um 10 inch, it says a beauty live square light, but this is essentially a ring light, you guys. And what's cool about this ring light is that it is it has like these two legs that flare out and it gives you an overhead view of um, the items that you're doing. And I bought this in particular for when I do my shorts and my reels and TikTok videos. I'm trying to get back into all of my other social media platforms, you guys. Last year slash this year has been a really long year for me. So I've only really had time to devote to YouTube videos. And so I do want to get back into my short videos and reels and such like that. I'm going to leave a picture of what this actually looks like unboxed, but uh, stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to do a separate unboxing video showing you guys how to assemble this, how to put it together and demo it with doing like a couple short videos and things like that. But really happy to have found this and to pick this up. And I think this is going to make filming short videos, reels, shorts, all that a breeze. So again, um, um, the picture here of it is on the screen and um, I'll be doing a full unboxing of it in a follow-up video. So stay tuned to, to the channel for that. But yeah, I was happy that I picked this up. So this is the next item that I got from Timu. I did end up getting some more of those French tip nails. And these are super cute because they are actually the pink colored French tip nails. So as y'all can see, I'm just obsessed with these type of nails these days. Um, and these I believe are short square and how beautiful are these? I mean... When I say the quality is pretty decent for an affordable press on now, I think these came with 240 tips if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, so this one here has that clear nail bed and the pink French tip. And then for sure, you guys, you'll definitely be able to use these nails for um, French tips. Uh, I mean, you'll definitely be able to use these nails for Gelix application. And what's cool about these particular nails too, is if you all did want the nail bed to be a particular color, you can use a different type of um, nail glue to apply it. So I recently hauled um, a nude nail bed. It's a 10 one nail glue from Born Pretty. That's something you could use to adhere this nail tip with and have that brown, you know, to have that nude nail bed um, with the pink French tip. So just giving you all some ideas of different ways you can play around with these press-on nails. But really excited to have these in my collection. Again, I'm going to do a follow-up video and show you guys how to apply them. But just how cute is this? This nail is actually the perfect size. It's really the length that I have on right now. So these definitely are some nails that I'll get some good wear out of, okay? Super cute, quick, and easy. And this here is the very last item that I got from Timu, and I was really excited about this. This here is gonna be my travel nail kit bag that I'm gonna take around with me. So let me show you guys how it is. So this here is a really, oh, I love this. Really nice, soft to the touch, and it gets pretty tall. So it kind of looks like a makeup bag, but just like a bigger version of one. So I love the detailing on it. It's like kind of a soft silicone kind of material. Um, and I love that it has like that matte black and then that shiny black with the design. Really, really cool. It has a nice handle here, so it'd be easy to carry around. Feels very comfortable to the hand. So I'm gonna open up the top section of it here. So I'm gonna open up the top section of it here. And this is what is on the lid here. So up here, you can store different nail implements and items. Up here, you can store even more items here. Files, nail brushes, etc. Everything you'll need to be able to do a nail set with. Here you have um, a section where you can put your nail lamp in. Um, so, let's see if I do it this way. I'll do it this way. So here you have a section where you can put your nail lamp in. And this right here comes out. So if you wanted to, you can put a nail lamp. And if you needed some extra space here on the side, you could put like your nail drill over here. Um, if you're bringing a full size nail drill, um, it also had it where you can also put it right down the middle, right? So you can have space to put other bigger items in here. Um, 
What else would be big? I don't know if you have like a dust collector or something like that that you may want to take with you. Actually, I'm curious to see what my dust collector fit in here. Let's see. So this is the dust collector that I use all the time. Just curious to see if it'll fit. Nah, it's too big for this. Okay, so maybe not dust collector, but definitely, but definitely your nail lamp. Um, I am going to do a whole video. I'm going to do a whole separate video and show you guys how I pack my nail kit. I do have a client whose nails I'm going to be doing next weekend. So I'm going to pack my bag with you guys here on camera and show you all the stuff that I'm going to bring with me when I do their nail sets. Okay, that is what the top section is looking like. And then there is a bottom section, a bottom compartment to this, which I really like as well. So you unzip it here and here and you open it up and look, you guys, you can bring all the polishes that your heart desires with you. I think this is so cool. This is really awesome. Let's see how many polishes it can fit. This could fit up to 30 different gel polishes, you guys, and it does fit full size bottles. Okay. Oh, look at that. And they fit in here so comfortably too. It can fit the little mini size bottles in there. It can fit the um, kind of oval shaped bottles in here. Um, even the square shaped bottles, it can fit. I absolutely love this. You can fit so many different polishes in here. So everything you need to your heart's desire, you would be able to fit in here. You can put base coat in here, top coat in here. Just, I mean, you can, everything you need to travel with to do your nails, it can fit in this one little box here. Put your nail lamp, nail drill, all your nail items. Um, and then it also has space over here at the top, right? You can put different decor. Okay, so I guess this here is for nail brushes. So you can put your nail brushes in here, files, um, nail tools, dotting tools, everything you need to be able to do a cool nail art design. So I thought this was a really cool purchase. I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of this. And um, another way you can use this too is, let me show you guys real quick. Another way you can use this too is if you wanted to, you can actually take this piece out and then store like a bigger item underneath here too. So if you have like a, a different type of nail lamp or if you need to bring multiple nail lamps with you, you can actually store it down here, okay? Options are endless with this. I'm really happy that I got this. I've been eyeballing this for the absolute longest. I saw it on Amazon, so I only get to Amazon as well, but I ended up finding it for a better price on Timu, so I definitely wanted to pick this up as well. It's definitely cheaper on there. So yeah, y'all, this is everything that I picked up in my most recent Timu nail supply haul. I am absolutely thrilled and over the moon with everything that I got. I do have a discount code with Timu, so I'm going to leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below, and I'm going to link every single item that I got here down in the description box below as well in case you guys want to get your hands on it because, y'all, these are some goodies. I'm actually really, really happy. I'm super excited, super happy with all these items. Cannot wait to put them to use. I'm in love with everything. I'm trying to find a favorite item that I hauled, and honestly, I think each of these items that I got in this particular haul are going to have a really nice place and get a lot of use definitely loving these storage containers i think one of my faves is definitely this um motion sensor rechargeable cordless goose neck lamp i love my little nail bag i got and this ring light's gonna be a game changer for my reels and stuff and my shorts so I'm happy with everything I got. Y'all know I love, I love, love, love these chrome powders from Timu. So I can't even pick a favorite. I, this probably has to be one of my favorite hauls from Timu. And I know I've done a few, but I feel like this haul is like with so many items that I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of. So that makes me really excited. And um, let me know what your favorite item was that I hauled in today's video. I am going to be doing follow-up videos showing you all how to put these items to use. I'll be doing a gel X tutorial using this lamp and these press-on nails. I'll be doing an unboxing of this um, 10 inch ring light lamp that's really dedicated for like reels and shorts and things like that. I'm going to be um, showing you all how I store my email couture, one, two, three, go tips, as well as doing some charm organization. Um, I might do a set of poly gel nails. You guys let me know which one you want, want to see. I might do some um, 4D nail art for you guys. I'm definitely going to show you guys how I organize and store, how I organize and prep my nail kit bag to go on the road so i hope y'all enjoyed this video like i said i love everything i got everything is going to be of great use for me i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye